Jane, I'm our Humane Education Manager, and I'm here today for Humane Ed Live. Um, I want to tell you who I'm here with this afternoon. This is Buster and his hot dog. Uh, Buster loves having a toy, uh, carries it around with him all the time. Uh, doesn't necessarily have to be the same toy, but it has to be a toy. He's kind of like Linus and his blankie. He has to have a toy with him at all times. Um, and with Buster here is our Humane Educator, Hi. Lauren just making sure that Buster sticks around for our production today and doesn't wander off. So I want to start by telling you a little bit about Buster. Um, Buster is a very, very special, very sweet dog um, and a wonderful example, example of resilience. So Buster is about seven years old. Uh, he was transferred to us from a high intake shelter in Tennessee where he sat for two years before we were able to transfer him up here and hopefully very shortly find him his new family and his forever home. Um, he was limping when he first got here, uh, so we took him out uh, to one of our um, partner vets uh, at West Suburban to get some dental work and some x-rays. Uh, he did have a mass um, and some badly tartar teeth that we had removed. This mass is benign and he's gonna be just fine and his teeth are all cleaned and ready to go. Uh, and it turns out he does have a limp uh, in one of his front legs and some arthritis developing in it. So he's never going to be uh, your jogging buddy or your marathon runner. Uh, but he, as you can see, is a sweet loving dog. Would love to hang out with you, listen to stories. We hope, we'll find out in a minute. Uh, maybe watch TV with you um, and be your best friend. Uh, turns out the reason he's got that limp is he, we found through x-rays metal fragments in his leg. Um, whether that's buckshot or something else, um, but it is healed up. Um, it's not something that can be removed. Uh, he's adapted to it, um, but he is always going to have a little bit of arthritis and a little bit of limp in that front leg. Um, so we're so glad we were able to bring him here, and we're really hoping that the right family is going to come along and show him what life's supposed to be like. Uh, he isn't up for adoption yet. He should be going up for adoption tomorrow. So watch our website. As soon as you see his picture up there, please give us a call, make an appointment, and maybe Buster is supposed to be with you. So with that, I'm going to read a few stories today for our book Sparks Me Out Live. Uh, the first one I'm going to read is Dog Days starring Otis. Um, it's a cute story that hopefully Buster will enjoy as well as all of you out there. Um, it's about adapting to having a new friend or a new pet in your life. Um, it's always hard for our pets. It's wonderful to have multiple pets in your life, but you want to make sure that your existing pets know that they're still special in love. Sometimes there's some jealousy or some hurt feelings. So, this book goes, this morning is a most, a most unexpected thing happens. Lucy and her little sister came home with a little kitten. They wouldn't stop fussing over and meowing that little fur ball. But what did they want with a kitten? They had me. I'm going to have to put on my glasses. <laughs> I can't see so good. The kitten, the kitten that, I was forgotten. I didn't want, I did not get my breakfast. And I did not get my bed shaken out. Sounds like Otis is a little upset. What do you think, Buster? <laughs> I didn't get my fur brushed. And even though I made a huge amount of noise, no one noticed when I went out. Poor Otis. I think he's feeling a little hurt and a little jealous. Let's see what happens next, Buster. I decided to roam the streets. Don't the, doing the things that I'm not supposed to do, and I'm not normally allowed to do, it was a good morning. Looks like Otis is getting into all kinds of trouble. What do you think, Buster? <laughs> yeah, you heard somebody come in? Yeah. But when the day got hot, being on my own wasn't as much fun anymore. So I sat under a tree, and I watched the other dogs go by. Is that something you might have done maybe before you got rescued? Did they have to share their homes with a kitten, I wondered? Were their bellies grumbling? Were their mouths dry? Somehow, I didn't think so. 
It was time to take action. It was time to find a new family. This one looked pretty good. Then again, perhaps that one could use a protector. But, better yet, I was sure of getting my fur brushed with the ones over there. They looked very clean. Maybe I'd even get a tartan, too. What do you think, Buster? Or on an absolutely huge breakfast with this sponge, maybe. Soon, I noticed that they were all passing Max's house. Oh, that must be Ma oh, it's his friend, Max. So I bounced right in. Just in time for a small snack, and it was the best place to be. But at night came, and I was filled with thoughts of my Lucy. What had she done all day? Was she managing without me? Would she read a book? Who would read a book to? Oh, Otis is like Otis likes to have books right there. Yeah. I kissed Max goodnight, and I went home. Look, Lucy was waiting for him. The new kitten was fast asleep. Lucy shook out my blanket, and then she read, read to me, Great Dogs in History, which was my favorite. But you're the greatest dog of all, she said. You're my best friend. Oh, oh. Lucy fell asleep. I was wide awake. Tomorrow, I was going to show the new kitten how I can open the refrigerator with my car. What do you think of that story? Pretty cute, huh, Buster? <laughs> he says, I'm more interested in everything that's going on around here. Buster's got a lot on his mind. He does, but that's okay. What do you think? One more story, Buster? And then maybe go outside for a walk? That sounds like a good story. So today's a pretty hot day, and this is actually one of my favorite stories. It's called Wet Dog. So instead of trying to show you the pictures, I'm just going to read. Okay, Buster? Okay? He was a good old dog and a hot old dog. As he lay in the noonday sun, and he dozed and he drowsed in the beating down sun, with his long pink tongue hanging out, while that too hot dog in the too hot sun just had to cool off somehow. So he heaved to his feet, and he sniffed the air, and he trotted off down the road. Head, 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 head. And that's when he saw a man washing his car. A long, black, shiny car. The old dog stepped in the soft, cool stream of the still wet, soaked through his skin. And he shook and he shook with a happy dog smile, wagging his happy dog tail. Shake, 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 shake. Wet dog, cried the man with the skinny black car. Shoo, go on now, shoo. Wet dog smiled his sorry dog smile and wagged his sorry dog tail and he flapped his ears and he sniffed the air and he trotted off down the road. Pat, 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 pat. And that's when he saw a lady washing some pans and some piled high, sticky high, soapy pans. Wet dog stepped into the splash and the suds till the cool flowed down his fur. Then he shook and he shook with a happy dog smile, wagging his happy dog tail. Shakey, shake, shakey, shake, shake. You can see a picture of him if you want to there. The dog's covered, he's all wet, and he's covered in bubbles. I bet you he feels cooler though. Wet dog, cried the lady with the sticky high pants. Shoo, go on now, shoo. Wet dog smiled his sorry dog smile and wagged his sorry dog tail, and he flapped his ears and sniffed the air and trotted off down the road. Pat, 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 pat. And that's when he saw a lady spraying some blooms, some pale pink, petal pink blooms. Wet dog stepped into the sparkling spray, and the soft mist cooled his face. Then he shook and he shook his happy dog smile, wagging his happy dog tail. Shake, 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 shake. Wet dog, cried the lady with the petal pink blooms. Shoo, go on now, shoo. Wet dog smiled his sorry dog smile, and wagged his sorry dog tail. And then he flapped his ears and sniffed the, t the air and trotted off down the road. Pat a pat, pat a pat, pat. And that's when he saw some men playing a song, singing loud and dancing loud, and wet dog stood by the side of the creek, feeling the music rise. That's why I see the picture there. So 
here he's all wet. Here he's watching the people and the men playing songs and singing by the by the creek. Good boy. Then he danced right into the trickle and the monk with his big soft paw sinking in and he shook and he shook and he shook. His happy dog smile wagging his happy dog tail. Shakey, shake, shakey, shake, shake. Wet dog, cried the men who were dancing and singing out loud. Shoo, go on now, shoo. And look, wet dogs, now he's not just wet, he's muddy. And he got the men all muddy. I don't think they're too happy with him right now. Wet dog smiled his sorry dog smile and wagged his sorry dog tail and he flapped his ears and he sniffed the air and he trotted off down the road. Pat a pat, pat a pat, pat. And that's when he came to a lake. Now, there by the shore in the beating down sun were people in fine fancy clothes. There were ladies in curls and men in bow ties and babies in soft flouncy hats and wet dogs stood by the lake and he looked at the crowd in the too, too, too hot sun. Then he stepped right into the shimmering pool of that blue pool, too cool lake and he slipped and he splashed in the rippling wave and he bounced back onto the shore. He was wet to the bone, so he shook and he shook and he shook. Shakey, shake, shakey, shake, shake. Wet dog, cried the people in the fancy clothes. Shoo, go on now, shoo. Look how hard he's shaking. Wow. But wet dog shook with his ears flying fast and his wet fur sprang and sprang and baby just laughed. Look at that buster. An audience. The little baby doesn't think he should shoo. Little baby thinks it's fun. And the baby just laughed. She was fine. A fancy baby in two hot clothes. And the water fresh on her face. She laughed and she laughed, clapping her hands. And the wet dog rain in the air. More, cried the baby, arms wide open. More dog, more dog, more. <laughs> then the people all laughed too. And they danced, and they dove, and they splashed, and they strode in the blue cool, oh so cool water. And while they splashed, and they danced, and how they splashed and danced, and the sun slid down in the sky, and they patted wet dog from his ears to his tail. Look, all the people are in the water swimming now. And they said, hooray, wet dog, hooray. And then everybody cooled off. What do you think? Yay! That was a good story. <laughs> Especially for a hot dog. Uh -huh. Yes. Thank you, Buster. So a couple of things before we end today. I uh, want you to know that uh, Humane Ed Live will be continuing on throughout the summer. Uh, so next week, tune in for some cat care basics. Um, additionally, wonderful news for Humane Ed. We're I have our new camp program I told you about last week. Our new summer camps have sold out. Hopefully you're one of those lucky ones who will be joining us this summer with Lauren and I. Um, we can't wait to see you. Um, and then again, Buster should be going up for adoption tomorrow. Watch our website. Don't call until you see his picture, but his picture should be up, um, if not this evening, uh, tomorrow morning. Um, for all of our adoptions, we are still open for adoption by appointment. Please look online, fill out our online adoption application, and then call us to make an appointment to come in and take a wonderful dog like Buster or someone else home. Thank you for tuning in. Bye. 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 Bye, Buster. <laughs>